Hello, this is Vicki Carter, and today I'm going to show you how to use the GIMP program to make an image map for your website. Um, in Alinda.com videos in Chapter 6, he showed how to code an image to make an image map, and that is absolutely an excellent process and something that you need to know. But when you're first getting started doing web design, it can be a, a bit overwhelming making an image into an image map. So I'm going to show you a free tool that you can use to do the exact same thing, and I'm also going to show you how to put it into your code, and we'll see what it looks like. So the first thing that you need, if you don't already have it, is GIMP. GIMP is an open source um, image manipulation program. It's very much like Photoshop, so if you've used Photoshop before, you, can, you will be able to use GIMP. You can access GIMP from GIMP.org. It's gimp.org, and you'll want to just do the free download. It's a pretty hefty file, so it can take some time to download. Um, the good news about gimp.org, besides this open source, is that as a student at WGU, you also have access to some training um, videos on the lynda.com called GIMP Essential Training. There's about 11 chapters in there, and it helps you to use GIMP as an image editor. Um, I would suggest doing that, all that training right now when you're in the middle of creating your website, but it's definitely good to know that you have access to training to, so that you can get all the power that you need out of GIMP. So if you don't have GIMP already, go ahead and download that. I've already downloaded it, and I've opened it up to my workspace. And I'm not going to really go into details on the workspace. You can get all that information on the lynda.com videos, essential training. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to open up the image that I want um, to make an image map out of. And we just open it up. You can open it off, off a folder on your desktop. And this image, as you can see, has social network links or places that I can make a link. And that's what I'm going to do. So then what you do is you go to filters and you go to web and you see it says image map. So you click on image map. And it's going to open it up into a different dialog box. And here is where you're going to actually create the code that's behind this image when you place it into your web code to make it a, a map and a clickable link. So I'm going to take the box and I'm going to do the Facebook section. And that's where I want it to work. It's, it's actually setting the vectors for us. And I'm going to attach that to Facebook. And then if you realize here, nothing that it doesn't have a protocol, then you need to stick it here at the website and it'll place everything in there. You can also have it linked to a file or an FTP site. Um, if you want to get real tricky, you can add some JavaScripting into that. I'm not going to go into that today. We definitely want to make sure that we have our target frame ID. So Facebook. And then an alt tab or text will be placed in here in the code, it's all right, and you hit OK. And then you'll see it starts to layer them so you know exactly which ones you've done as you're going along. So I'm going to make another one just so you can see how that goes. And I'm trying to go slow enough so you can kind of visualize it. And then make sure we click the web, and this is going to be YouTube.com. YouTube. Problems today. Okay, hit OK. So then when you get done, like if this image is completed, um, ideally if it was me for this image to put in my website, I probably would have each one of these created into clickable links and all their vectors are going to be created for us in the code. And I'll show you that in a moment. Um, you can use a circle and you can also use the polygon, which the polygon is the seems like to be the hardest to code, but in reality, if you use GIMP like this, it's not that challenging to code because you just have to place it in there and pull it and it will get all the vector numbers for you. So I'm all done with that. And then you go to view source. And all of a sudden, GIMP has already created the entire code for you. So you're just going to cut and paste this. You want to access the image um, as well because it has the actual height and border for you. And you can change all that. It also references the map, 
which has the name right there. So you just cut and paste, and then I'm going to close out of my field, and I'm going to open up my text. Um, my notepad plus plus is what I'm using, and as you can see, this is just a very simple coded web page. I have my title, I have my H, my head, I have my doc type. Oh, my docs, not really the doc type. Um, I'm accessing a, a style sheet, but I have no styles really in it to speak of. I started some styles and I've taken them out for this demonstration. You can see I already have my image linked to the image that it is um, in the folder, and it already has the um, at map as far as referencing it. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the top part because I've done this earlier. Now, another thing that GIMP, GIMP does do is it does place comments in there. It tells you how it was created um, as a plugin, what version it was, and who the author was. You can leave that in there. Um, some people take it out. I don't think it's really necessary to have it in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out. I'm going to save. And then I'm going to run in my browser. I'm going to pull it over here for you so you can see. And here we go. So here is the image. The image has been placed in my folder as the image, and it's being called from, if it was placed on the server, it's being called from the server. And all of a sudden, if you click on F, you get the Facebook. If you click on YouTube, it opens up our YouTube channel, or our YouTube channel. So that is a simple way of creating um, an image map using GIMP where you get all the code that you saw in the lynda.com videos, but it's just a little faster way. Now, it's really important that you still understand how to write this code on your own, the area and what shape it is and what the um, rectangular, um, how to do the coordinates, how to do your alt and target, and how to do your um, access to link. So I highly suggest you watch the video from lynda.com, Chapter 6, um, kind of understand what he's doing, and then you can practice using GIMP. GIMP is just a really great tool to help you get it done, and then as you get it going in your life, if you continue to do web design, you'll understand how to do these kind of after making a lot of them. I don't believe that using an image map is one of your requirements for your EUP1 course, but it is a really great way of using an image and linking certain parts of that image to other pages or other websites. Um, so it's Vicki Carter. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, and thank you for your time.